they thought they were getting major upgrades inside their homes and said they say they are out thousands of dollars with nothing to show for it. Enter turn to 10. Oh, we were really excited about it. Of course they were. Their dated bathroom about to be upgraded. Family was coming for Christmas and we were really excited about the whole thing and they were leaving. Then we were going to have this bathroom remodel. Gary and Sandy Garcia. This is a large sum of money to us. Signed a contract with Jamestown Kitchens, a business located in Sarasota back on October 30th. I wrote a check for $16,960 and have not heard from them since. It was written the 26th, it cleared the 26th. David Zandi. We have paid him almost $69,000. Also hired Jamestown Kitchens to remodel his kitchen. We talked to him, he was very convincing. Zandi says the company did install the cabinets, but when it came time for the top of the line countertops to be installed. They actually did a template and two days before they were supposed to install it, I called to see if everything was good to go. He got news he wasn't expecting. They said, no, we haven't made it and we are not going to make it. And the money that went to Jamestown did not get to the fabricator to uh, make the countertops. Well, he was going to do the teardown by a certain date. And then there's Michael Garfin. We wanted um, new cabinets in our kitchen. He signed his contract with the company in November. It was... Um, well, $8,689. But after he paid, he says he hasn't heard from the company since. Nothing whatsoever has happened. When we showed up at the business in Sarasota to try and find the owner, we were greeted with this sign right here. Somebody posted this, alerting people not to do business with the company and that they have an F rating with the Better Business Bureau. According to the BBB's website, they also flag a pattern of complaints. Nothing like this has even come close to happening to us in the past. Did you guys pay credit card? No, no, we wrote a check. He is very quick at clearing checks. So did Garfin and Zandi. He would not allow us to take to pay with a credit card. Really? No, that no, I would have preferred that because Was he, that a red flag? That was another red flag. That's it. We have no bathrooms, no money. Uh, the money sadly came from uh, my parents died recently and came from a life insurance policy that my dad had. So it wasn't like we had this extra money before, you know, it was earmarked for the bathrooms and now it's gone. Now I tried to get a hold of the owner of Jamestown Kitchens, James Gerard. He referred to me to his attorney. I'm still waiting to hear back from her. In the meantime, the Manatee County Sheriff's Office says it is investigating six complaints on the business and Sarasota County is investigating five. So then what can you do to protect yourself in a situation like this? Unfortunately, not much. The BBB tells me it is seeing more and more cases like this. Businesses with once great recommendations go downhill and downhill quick. If you're going to hire a contractor, ask for the most recent clients. Tell them you will only pay 10% up front. Some will ask for more, but you have the option to negotiate anything. And if you can, pay with a credit card. Easier to dispute charges if things don't end up like they seem. And after our team asked the Sarasota Sheriff about this company, they sent out a release today asking anyone who may also have had trouble with Jamestown Kitchens to reach out to them at the number on your screen. We also have that number at WTSP.com. Remember, we are here to help you out. If you've got something you want us to look into, send us an email. Turn to 10 at WTSP.com.